Hey YouTube, it's Chris from Mythical Madness here. Today we're going to be playing some Battlefield 4, and I'm going to tell a life story. Yeah, some interesting so shit right here. So, today at school, so I'm, I'm, um, I live in a weird school. I'm, like, one of the only white people at my school. There's, like, four bajillion Mexican people, like, black people, so I'm, like, a special breed. And, uh, so, not to be racist, I'm just setting the setting for you guys. So there are these women... Two of them, twice the size of me, easily could kick my ass and rape me on the spot. So I'm walking from um, class, because um, I, um, I asked for a teacher to go to the restroom. So I'm bringing my backpack, I'm all happy, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm walking to the restroom. These kicks walk behind me and cat call me and scream, ow, fuck that white boy. So I'm sitting there wondering if they're talking to me or if they're just saying that as a joke. Ten seconds later, they turn straight on my path like a fucking homing missile. I instantaneously shit myself. And I also have to take a shit, so I'm make sure you're between the two. I instantly think I'm just done. I'm gonna surrender my ass to these women. I'm gonna be done. So, obviously, I'm scared. So, these chicks are following me. So I start, they start, like, moving quicker, and, like, one of them says, Man, we should go fuck that white boy. I'm getting scared out of my mind. I'm sitting there, like, a, some scrawny little middle-sized white boy. Just right next to these land behemoths by humans of women. Just walking behind me. I'm getting scared. Like, there is not a single Objective nerve in my body that is not ready to just instantly tear ass out of there if there's the slightest sign that I'm gonna get screwed over. So, these girls continue following me until I get to the restroom. I'm sitting there praying. I'm turning religious on the scene. I'm so screw I'm singing cuddling us to my great god. I'm sitting there. I'm, I'm not even religious, too. Here's the sad part. So I'm screaming, Lord would save me. I'm turning country on the spot. I'm like, Lord would save me. Lord would spare with my body. Lord, I will do anything. I will suck your walls just for you not to let me get rid of these I'm sitting there singing every. I'm literally going freaking saving Private Ryan. I'm sitting there like, Lord, give me the aim, the accuracy, and everything you can give me. Every little itty bitty thing you can give my ass. So I'm sitting there just scared. And so I get into the red. I like, I so he, let me give a little bit of background to where I'm walking to. So there, I'm I'm trapped. So if I, way, I'm I'm trapped. I go one way, I'm gonna instantly get in trouble because it's usually gonna think I'm ditching. And if I go the other way, I'm gonna run straight into these women. So the only real hiding place, if you will, is the restroom. So I'm sitting there hiding in the restroom. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there playing all these scenarios out of my mind, and I don't want to get suspended. So that that really is looking like an adequate idea right now. And I'm just getting scared too. So I'm just like, and I'm running out of decisions now. So it's either, you know, just can it and get out of here and get suspended, or just accept giving up the deal or hiding. So these women are significantly slower than my scrawny white ass. So I'm sitting there, maybe, just maybe, I can hide in the restroom. So I'm sitting there. Instantly, a Naruto fucking can it to the fucking restroom. These women, slowly but surely, you can hear them going. <laughs> the fucking earthquake is starting to come towards my ass. I'm getting scared now. And so, the earthquake slowly starts getting faster and faster. And then I fucking can't. I, I'm in the restroom. I jump in, dolphin dive, whatever you want to call it. Fucking Black Ops 2, getting chased by some dude with a sniper rifle. I get in. I'm sitting. I'm just sitting there. Thank God. So I put my backpack on the stall, like right between the little like areas so they can't see me because there's like you know, a little hole. And so like I'm instantly like I'm just sitting there squatting and just looking like I'm ready for a freaking school shooting thing right now. Like if you've ever seen those like when they tell you like if you're in the restroom you gotta squat on the toilet, right? So I'm doing that. I'm doing everything. I'm going straight to like my training for the 9-11 apocalypse explosions everything so i'm prepared i'm like boy scout action right here i'm grabbing like a freaking like machete i'm just like pulling out everything in my backpack so all i have in my backpack is a bible okay and a bible binder and everything so i don't really have that much on me uh, like 40 pounds of books so i'm thinking if push comes to shove i have 40 pounds of backpacks that might give me a chance against these land whales. Then I play it through my mind. That's not gonna do anything, it's just gonna start an earthquake and I'm done. So then after realizing this, I suddenly have the idea. Enemy maybe, just, just maybe, if I start 
like praying and everything that I've ever been taught in these kind of situations, maybe I'll be saved. I grab the Bible, straight up, so I'm making out with it. I'm thinking this thing's gonna save my life. I'm legitimately like, God, just give me this. I, I know there's like five times I've gone to church and all of them were unhappy me and it was Easter. I get that, but I'm not asking for much here. I'm just asking to survive, okay? You, like, I'm just natural instincts, adrenaline everything. So, you know, I'm just slowly hoping that this kissing of the Bible is gonna, like, summon some guardian angel thing to save me, right? So, from some freak coincidence, my teacher, so there's, um, two teachers that teach us normally. There's, like, the, like, student teacher, and then there's, like, the actual teacher. So, the actual teacher walks in, saving me, I'm just thanking the Lord right now. And, like, like, I'm not religious at all, so kind of like the, like, atheist kind of prey. I don't know. That was really stupid, actually. I didn't even say Eh. Sorry, I'm doing a lot of commentary. Um, but yeah, I'm sitting there praying everything. And now, I have, like, as soon as I hear it, and I, he instantly goes to, like, are you girls transgender? Because, um, you know, they're, I guess, accepting now. Uh, I'm not saying that was like a bad thing, I'm just saying that it was like kind of like a question mark kind of thing, because they like, yeah. Um, so obviously they walk in, and they're breathing heavy looking for my ass. And so the teacher walks in, are you too transsexual? I thought you were straight because they were dating guys earlier, I don't know. It's confusing, I never got that stuff. The teacher's over here. Heads up, enemy so this dude, just instantly, they instantly get out of there. They're like, nope, I'm good. So they, they like barely leave apparently because I, 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 I thought they all left. So I was like, oh, hallelujah. So I wound up leaving. He was like, oh, um, we're just taking notes, Ben. Don't worry, I'll, um, I'll um, just ask somebody for some, the notes. So I'm like, okay, decent. So now, I walk out. So he's still in there. He's probably going to be a while because he's one of those teachers who spent a fucking decade in there. So I'm walking out all by myself. Mildly concerned, but not any concern anymore. I'm just assuming with my best, well, I should say, my worst ac accusation of them leaving completely and just like being nope. So it turns out that they're literally right out there. Like, not even, like, within, like, a yard. So, these landlords are sitting there huffing and puffing, thinking of how they're going to get me after this teacher gets out. So, I'm just sitting there. I get my backpack. The flight or flight situation instantly kicks in. I go from, let's go, like, you know, live and be a good person to can it. I turn Naruto in an instant. I'm gone. Like, I am just out of there. Audi 5000, Naruto standing, I'm just out. Whatever you want to call it, I'm gone. These girls legitimately are right out the door. One of them pushed me over. I go flying. I nail the ground. My 40 pounds of backpacks sends me going. I'm freaking going in circles. I don't know how to respond. But I'm just accepted. I hit the ground. I get up. My new. I realize my new Ruto wasn't fast enough. I go super sane. I get my inner weeaboo going. My like five, like minutes of watching anime. Yeah, it really spent me well. Um. So I just kiss the Bible, put it in my backpack, and gone. I'm gone. Naruto, Sonic. The butt fuck ch I met love child of all of them. I'm gone. I can't. In I throw my backpack. I'm assuming that's gonna stop him. And it's not really gonna stop anything. It wouldn't even stop me. Um, but you know, I'm just gone. I'm staring ass, and you know, just gone. Right now, after this, objective has been I make it to the class. I'm finally safe. That's the end of the story. The end. Hope you guys enjoyed. That is, nearly got a raise, but stuff. Land almost killed me. Thanks for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. Kissy face. Love y'all. Thanks for watching. I'll bring some more life stories up in this piece in a little bit. Missy Fifth.